It just so happens I'm involved with someone. Sort of. Kind of. Ever since the Killing Joke animated movie came out, I've gotten a bunch of tweets and comments from you guys asking to clarify something. This scene, specifically, is the concept of Batman and Batgirl having sex completely random and out of nowhere, or is there precedent in the classic cartoons and even comic books? Yes, we're talking more about the killing joke and stuff. I don't apologize. The Killing Joke movie had Bruce Timm as a producer, and if that name sounds familiar, it's because he also worked on a bunch of the shows and movies in the DC Animated Universe. He co-created and produced Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, Static Shock, Justice League, both limited and unlimited, and many more projects for DC and Warner Bros. The movie adaptation of the classic story was written up by comic book writer Brian Azzarello, whom Bruce Timm has attempted to throw under the bus as the one responsible for the sex scene. Even so he did admit that the idea was something that he, Azzarello, and Alan Burnett all agreed was a good idea. Burnett was another producer on the film who has also worked on a bunch of Batman properties in the past, like the animated series, Beyond, and even Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. Coincidentally, or probably not at all coincidentally, every one of those Batman shows and movies have either hinted at or even blatantly stated how Batman and Batgirl were at some point in a relationship. As far as I can tell, it starts with Batman the Animated Series. We saw hints that at least Barbara had somewhat of a crush on Batman, like in one of her dreams where the two almost kiss. Later in that same continuity, we see Batgirl clearly hinting at their relationship in the mystery of the Batwoman animated movie. Because if you had, I'd be really upset. Because I thought you and I were, you know. Uh, Barb, we're going through the East Tunnel now. Afraid signal's breaking up. Talk later. Even further down the timeline in Batman Beyond, we see Batman looking through a folder of the women he used to date. We've got Zatanna, Lois Lane, yep, that happened, Catwoman, and yes, Barbara. Another old love interest, Talia al Ghul, even comments on how Bruce once loved Babs. Not only that, but Barbara herself even talked to Terry McGinnis about their past relationship. Whoa. Oh, but it goes so much deeper, my friends. A phrase that I immediately regret saying. You hate me, don't you? In issue number 28 of the Batman Beyond 2.0 comic book, we get more information about their fallout. As Bab said, Dick Grayson left for Bloodhaven, and that's when Barbara and Bruce began their relationship. But Dick eventually returned. He and Bab started becoming more serious. Soon Barbara found out she was pregnant. She breaks the news to Batman in one of the most awkward sequences ever as she reveals that the pregnancy is too far along for Dick to be the father. Bruce. Bruce is the father. Even though Babs wanted to be the one to tell Dick, Batman interferes first. And this leads to the big Bat Family fallout, something Barbara still resents Bruce for. Now, I don't think any of this is really canon with the current comic book universe, and I don't think the Killing Joke animated movie is canon with much of anything. But you can see now that Bruce Tim and Alan Burnett have shipped Bruce and Babs for decades. Even if you don't like it, at least you know that scene from the Killing Joke movie wasn't apropos of nothing. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you ship Batgirl and Batman? What do you think of how they handled that now infamous sex scene? I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you missed it, we're currently doing a whole trilogy of videos breaking down the Killing Joke comic book. The first two episodes are out right now. Click here to watch us bust Grant Morrison's theory that Alan Moore intended for Batman to kill the Joker, or click right here to see how Batman may have secretly used one of Joker's own gadgets against him in those final ominous panels. Links will also be in the description down below. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that big sexy subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the new videos we make for you every month. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday about the history, science, art, and philosophy behind your favorite comic book superheroes. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.